New at 11. Some call it the Inferno on Dante Avenue. Take a look at this incredible video captured during this house fire in Fresno. The fire department just released that helmet cam video, which was taken on Monday. No one was hurt, and they still don't know what caused the fire. CBS 47's Tony Body joins us live at Fire Station Number 8 in Southeast Fresno with more on why the department is so eager to give our viewers this eyewitness account. Tony? Well, Evie and Ken, it's not so much for the wow factor as it is for the danger factor. Firefighters want you to see how quickly a poor decision can cost you everything you own and also jeopardize the safety of first responders. Dante Presso Willis, 4207 North Dante. A dark plume of smoke hovering above the city of Fresno. It's a sight all of us often see. But rarely do we ever get this close to the actual fire. Nor would we want to. Just about every single day in Fresno, someone's losing their house. And public information officer Kobe John says many times the fire could have been prevented. Ultimately, what we hope is when we put this, these videos out there, you know, it's compelling enough that people will do those things we've been trying to get them to do for years, and that's just to make really good choices. John says make sure your smoke detectors work, don't leave food unattended on the stove. And hire professional electricians to wire your home. That, those are the, the causes for most of our fires. These small cameras also serve as a fantastic training tool. Firefighters can use them to evaluate their performances. It's an opportunity to study the tape, you know, like a like a professional athlete would do, and to look at the tape and go, okay, I thought I did a great job on that fire. Well, well did I? But within all of this educational material lies legal concerns like the protection of people's privacy. We have a sacred trust that the public gives us, and we don't want to hurt that. San Francisco's department fell under scrutiny last summer following that Asiana jet crash, when a photo of a fire engine running over a 16-year-old passenger was publicized. Fresno Fire has since been working with the city to develop a specific helmet cam policy. Are you confident that your proactive approach in working with the city attorney before something bad happens is going to help you to keep this program in place? We certainly hope so. You know, we're trying to get out in front of it and do that. No, about three dozen of the city's 300 firefighters have these helmet cams, and they belong to the firefighters themselves. However, any video that they shoot while on the job, it automatically becomes the property of the department. We're live in Southeast Fresno, Tony Body, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.